If you want to use your own data and have frequency lists for each of the constructions, you will need to combine frequency lists. External programs can do this, and for many purposes you can use functions like VLOOKUP in spreadsheet programs, although they have some limits. So this is what the function join.frex is for. It combines two lists of frequencies that you import into R, or which are the result of a data manipulation task in R. Join.frex is actually just an extension of the built-in R function merge, but it provides additional features so you don't have to perform three or four additional steps after using merge. We'll use two built-in datasets to illustrate the function, the dataset for begin to v, which contains the frequencies of the infinitive verb in the pattern begin to feel or begin to see, as well as start to v with the verb frequencies for start to rain or start to make. Suppose you wanted to perform a distinctive colexeme analysis to explore the differences between the two patterns, you'll need a data frame with combined frequencies. To join the two lists, type join.frex, which takes two arguments x and y for your first and your second frequency list respectively. So in this case, begin to v, comma, start to v. The all argument here is set to true by default. Now this means that the function will include all elements in the combined frequency list, including those that only occur in the second frequency list. Of course, we want all verbs in the output, so we leave this argument unspecified and use the default and assign the output to begin.start. The functions head begin.start12 and tail begin.start12 lets us inspect the output of joinfrex, which can now serve as the input to collects.dist begin.start. Suppose you only wanted to perform a simple colexeme analysis on begin to verb, then you would need the corpus frequencies of the verbs that occur in this pattern, and the package contains two verb frequency lists from the B and C, one with the verb lemma frequencies and one with the verb string frequencies. Which one you use to match with items in begin to verb is more a matter of taste. For a lemma based approach, you'd use the former, while for a pattern based approach, which we'll use here, you'd use the string list. So to combine, type join.frex, begin to v, comma, b and c, verb s, comma, all equals false. And here we set the all argument to false so that our output of the join.frex function only contains the items that occur in the begin to verb set. Then we assign it to begin to v dot in, so that can serve as the input object to the collex function. You can leave the all argument unspecified in this case, of course, for instance, to include all verbs in the BNC, even those that do not occur with begin to verb. This might be useful if you want to calculate a repulsion measure for verbs that do not occur in the pattern, which is the general idea of negative entrenchment. So now we've reached the end of this episode. Play around with the examples given in the help files. If you have some feedback, I'd be very happy to hear about it.